power first, toes for the hips. It's going to be a yogic squat. Open up your feet to a comfortable distance, something a little bit wider than your hips. And start rocking a little bit side to side. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Trying to warm up gently and then find your center bring your hands together at your heart center as you spread your elbows nice and wide push your knees away to the sides close your eyes and just breathe heels down knees open and hips are heavy, relaxed. Let's do some twists. Left hand down, right arm up and behind your head. Take a little pulse, stretch out and fold forward, tap your elbow towards the yoga mat and keep moving. Up, exhale forward and open up again forward and down open up forward and down and open up let go if you're comfortable change side we'll take some rest and then change five breaths five movements Right hand down, left hand overhead and go. One and back and up. Two and back and up. Three and back and up. Four, trying to have the hips heavy, folding forward and down. Let go. Great job, yogis. Stay. One more inhalation. Relax your lips. Side out. Okay, let's take a break. Sit back into your child's pose. Heels together, knees together. Chest over thighs. Head down, arms straight. Relax. Just take 30 seconds of full rest. Let the gravity do the work for you. And you just stay breathing in, breathing out. Notice that rising and falling sensation at your chest as you inhale. And slowly exhale. Beautiful. Come up, pop up onto your feet. Our second exercise is a low lunge. Keep your feet parallel. Just for a second, relax in your forward fold and then step your left foot back and bring your right knee just above the ankle. Push into your left hand. Left hand can be on the ground. To intensify, bring your forearm on the ground. And extend the opposite arm up. And same exercise. Tap the floor, folding forward and stretching out. Remember to keep your left leg straight. Keep moving, finding your pace, exhale, to fold, inhale, to extend, keep moving.
Perfect. Now push your knee gently to the side as you bring your left knee down. Explore a little bit, you can fold forward. Or you can take your hands onto the upper thigh. Whatever feels better for you, where you can stay for a quiet time to enjoy the stretch. Pop up. Bring your foot to the middle of the mat and come to upright position with your hands on the front of your thigh, just above the knee. Extend your arms to the sides. Gently lean back and let's just change sides. Step in forward, open up your feet, fold forward, exhale. And then just step back with your right leg. So let's check the alignment. Left knee over the ankle, right hand on the floor or right elbow on the ground. Extend your left arm up. Breathe in and breathe out. Twist and open with inhalation, exhalation, fold forward. Keep going, find your pace. Beautiful. Bring your right knee down. Hands down or elbows down for deeper intensified stretch. Stay calm and cool. All right. Bring your left foot to the middle of the mat. Come to upright position with your right knee on the ground. Inhale, find the balance, contract your core. Extend your arms to the sides and lean back into heart extension. Beautiful. Let's find our child's pose and just a little break. Sit back on your heels, keep your knees together, fold your chest. Trying to have your sit bones just closer to your heels. Sit back, relax, stretch, and exhale. And our next exercise. Pop up on your hands and knees. Good. And from there, step your right foot forward. It's a gentle hamstring stretch. So you can have something under your hands for support. Prop yourself up. If you have a yoga block, place underneath your right hand and left hand and push your hips back. Stack your hips over left knee and stretch your right leg forward, bringing your toes towards your face, flexing the right foot, engage your quadricep, stay here on your fingertips, on the blocks, or if you feel comfortable with this stretch, you can move forward. Exhale, relax. Inhale to stretch forward. Exhale. See if you can bring your hands down as you fold forward, chest down to your knee.
And you did great, yoga. Just one more exhalation. Find full expression of the pose. And we are going to repeat the same stretch on the left side. So just step back. Adjust your hands, hands and knees. Step your left foot forward. Make sure that your hips are square so you can place your hands on the hip points. And adjust. Don't high cut the left hip. Keep it square. Inhale. Forward with your chest, with your heart. Prep yourself on the yoga blocks. If you don't have, you can use books, other equipment. Check with your body, hips over your right knee, left leg extended fully. To keep your left leg straight, I suggest you to really focus on engaging the quadriceps. Stay here, move deeper into your forward fold, if you're ready and when you're ready. And it's time. Come back up. Step back. Sit back onto your heels. Just notice many, many sensations are arising around your hips, glutes and your thighs as we go through the stretching. Child's pose. Just fold forward and relax. Our next stretch. We're going to stretch the glutes. So fold your left leg under. The left knee is on the floor, step your right foot over your left leg and ground down your right sit bone. Interlace your hands just in front of the right shin bone. Stay here. Find that sensation and sense of stretch from the tailbone up to the crown of the head. Ready to twist? Take your left arm up and above the right knee. Twist to the right. I will show you, demonstrate you an easy version. And if you're ready to intensify, the next option will be a, a little bit more intense. For this variation, you would need to thread your left arm under your right thigh. Let's try to do it. So keep the twist. Internally rotate the left shoulder. Lean forward. Thread your arm under. And the opposite arm goes around your back. Clasp your hands together. It's a really deep twist. So make sure that your back is straight. Your sits bones on the ground. And then you're comfortable with the easier version then you can take it to this. Let it go. Ready to change sides? Okay. So just change. Left leg up and over, left hip down, 
Interlace your hands, push your knee towards your chest and just notice the sensations around the hips. We all have different types of bodies, some more flexible, some have a little bit more tight hips or inner thighs or glutes. Just notice, stay calm, rest your mind on the breath, take a twist, ready. Right elbow, left knee, twist to the left. Try the same ver version and expression of the pose which you did on the first side. So. Bring your arm under your leg for a deeper version, deeper twist. And it's time. Relax and let go. We have our last pose for the practice. And I would like, this is my least favorite because it really hurts. It hurts my thighs and the quadriceps are so tight. But let's give it a try. Sit between your heels. You can prep yourself onto the bolster, books, some pillows, or if you can sit all the way down, that's great. Just stay here. If it's not enough and you feel like intensifying the stretch would be a great idea, you can move back onto your elbows. I will demo you in a second. Try to elongate the front of your legs, the hip flexors. Maybe you can take yourself all the way down. Unfortunately, it's not available to me, but maybe this is something is available to you. So you can go into a deeper stretch. For me, this is already intense enough, so I prefer to stay here and work on extension and the right alignment. Yes, if you go all the way down to your shoulders and back, make sure that you are not arching your low back too much, like I do because of the tightness in the front of the hips. So I would recommend you to use a pillow underneath your back. Slowly, slowly, come all the way up. And this is it for today. Five yoga stretches which help you to reduce tension and soreness in your hips, legs, glutes. Close the practice. Place yourself to the present moment here and now. And I would recommend you to finish the practice with a gentle relaxation pose. Shavasana. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure to give you and share this practice. So just lie down on the back and now relax. Thank you so much for practicing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will keep you posted. Namaste.